Kara. How you doing? I'm all right, but I miss you, Joshua. Me too. I've got a surprise. What surprise? My work here at the Research Institute is over. I'm being sent to Zeus to deliver the stuff you requested. Good. So we'll be together again. I'm longing to hold you. So I'll look forward to a warm reception. After all, the trip lasts a month and I'll be frozen. It will be the longest month of my life. But it will be the shortest of mine. Why the long face? Is something wrong? I can't carry on doing this awful work. The base is miles from anywhere and it's giving me the creeps. Stop worrying. What's to be afraid of? And besides, our contract expires in three months. Then we're free of the company forever. We'll even have enough money to go back to Earth. I hope so. Have a safe trip. I'll dream of you. See you soon. Sweet dreams. One month later, Ask the docking authorization, please. 17th of November, 2129. Approach request code 035-A. Start approach to left hangar, heading 185. Authorization, OK. Check right pressure stabilizer. Regular. Did you have a good sleep? I've had a strange dream. of personnel except the deck crew. I'm an Infobot model LC-93. I am programmed to offer assistance to anybody in the hangar bay. A standard crew is made up of eight personnel, ranging from the deck officer to the service technicians. 
The last thing I was aware of was an important visitor coming to the station. The standard security requires that all non-essential droids are shut down. I am fully equipped to open any door on this level. Although I cannot leave the hangar, I can unlock the exit door for you. I don't know why it's locked. Normal procedure requires it to be unlocked at all times. Bye.
water. Please, get me water. Hang on, one question at a time. Firstly, keep your voice down and make sure your light covers those dark corners. Well, it all started about a month ago when there was an emergency meeting called to discuss an approaching unidentified object. Sometime into the meeting, there was a tremendous thud and the lights failed. Screams echoed throughout the station and people scattered. When the lights eventually returned, most people had vanished and the few that remained lay terrified for days. When they eventually gathered together the courage to search the station, they found shredded bodies scattered throughout the corridors. It was around this time the lights began to flicker and although there is light here in places, most levels below are shrouded in darkness. The food was in short supply and the water was beginning to run out. It was decided that the people remaining would split into groups and go in search of the water, vats of which are situated at strategic points throughout the station. These groups set up camp around these vats and nobody dares to leave, except to retrieve food as I did. Unfortunately, the station is infested with creatures who will attack without warning. Fortunately, they will not approach lights, but without main power, we cannot travel far. Fireworks, as do torches, but batteries have become as precious as air, and the stronger groups have stolen them. It seems like aeons, but it's only been a day at the most. Yes, uh, and it's not a welcome darkness. Plenty of places for them to hide. Unfortunately not. I've been unable to call for help. Maybe you could go and find my fellow survivors. If you tell them of my situation, then they will come and help. I am a man, but I'm hunted like a mouse. Remember this, it's your only advantage. These monsters attack only when their prey isn't in strong light. Please take these. Find my friend and get me some help. Goodbye.
ไหมครับเอาฟังฉันจะจะนดอะไรแล้วอะไรอะไรอะไรอะไรสกัดแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้ว operational hand punch please and thirty seconds 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 on the Need require require a printer cartridge. Accessing network. Thank you for the for the. Who are you? You're not one of the station staff. Where did you come from? Nice and easy now. Okay, no sudden moves. This gun is loaded. Hello, then, Joshua. I'm Angelo Perico. I work for the company as security on this station. I haven't been told much. All I know is that after the station hit something and the power faded, people started dying. I was guarding the armory when whatever it was hit us. After that, I made a mad dash to get to the captain's office. He told me to wait outside along with Max. I haven't a clue. 
When I went back to get Max, there was no sign of the captain or anybody else. No, I am part of a group of survivors who now live on this level. We've taken up home in the officer's mess hall. Well, there were nine of us originally, but after an argument, the four women left in search of a way off the station. Randall, he's in charge, said there wasn't any way off the station until a rescue team arrives, but they left anyway. Then there's me and Max. Oh, poor Max, he's still in shock and very badly injured. And lastly, there's my best friend Quenevis. He went off in search of food, and we haven't seen him since. You haven't seen him, have you? Yeah, how strange. Well, thanks. Now I know why they've never come in here. It's not even dead. Yeah, they're real nasty. Don't let your guard down for a second, because if you do, you're going to see if there's life after death real soon. Kara Oceana? Yeah, she was part of our group, but she left. Well, all four of them took some supplies and headed off down to the loading bay. We haven't seen them since. I was a guard on one of the lower levels with my friend Max Sanders. Forgive me if I seem a little apprehensive, but I was almost a monster's lunch. You don't want to know what these things do to you. I was on guard on one of the lower levels and this... This thing just dropped through the ceiling in front of us. It looked like a huge sort of spider, but had a human face that seemed almost familiar. We didn't even have time to bring our weapons to bear on the beast before it had lunged its powerful tail out at Sanders. I ran as fast as I could. I could hear this thing following behind me in the dark. Then, as I ran into the bright light, this thing fled. Then I came up here and found Randall. Later, I went to rescue Max and managed to get him back up here. Sure, come on, I'll take you to see the others. Hey, what's that noise at the door?